New Year's Day 2006 now. Even at the moment, I'm probably around 16 miles a day. I really am looking forward to this challenge. I've got a huge, huge way to go, but I think with the right attitude and determination, I can really make this happen. Twenty years ago, when the running boom was at its height, we had something like 180 people under two hours 20 in Britain. You think of all the top marathon runners we had in this country in the old days. Ed Cox, Kilby, well, you can go on with Ron Hill, go way, way back, you know, uh, Steve Jones. So it's just a switch to, you know, to the new world, you know. We, we haven't got hungry people anymore, youngsters coming up. Long distance needs you know, just not only long distance, I mean, almost you know, all running activities needs you know, just a special uh, talent from your background. Long time ago, an you know, athlete from British, they were so great because the background. For him to even contemplating this, you know, you have to be strong and, and a lot of people are going to criticise you. The guys on 215 have been training for 10, 15 years. I have no idea how oh, much that burns your lungs. Oh, oh. At the moment you're, you're far too healthy for, for a marathon running. You should be very much skinnier and much more gaunt. Obviously it's got some work to do because he's not achieving what we set out to do. With a marathon, you've got to take the emotion out of it. You've got to go to work. And if you go to work, you worry about you. You worry about what your body's doing, what pace you're doing, what your hydration you're taking on, what nutrition you're taking on. You know exactly what you're doing. It takes so much out of you, both mentally and physically, uh, that, that sometimes you don't even know what the hell is going on. Why I, why I put myself through this, uh, I sometimes don't know.